You know, as a kid, I always looked up to Chef Ramsay. Where's the lamb sauce? Where's the lamb That's sauce? Lamb. And one of my favorite shows from him was Kitchen Nightmares. Oh my God, look dead. You paid for the exterminator? Bullshitting little fucker. Now as a kid, I wanted to know if the restaurants he was going to were really that bad or was it all for show? So I went undercover to some of the worst rated restaurants in my city to try their food. But what they don't know is I'm actually gonna be in disguise as a Michelin star chef. So we're gonna be rating these restaurants based on cleanliness, appearance, and taste. So here are just some of the bad reviews this place has gotten. Worst service and food ever. Zero customer service skills at this restaurant. One star. I'm so disappointed. First, I ordered the pierogies with bacon and onions and sour cream. They were awful. I used to love ordering from there, but never again. So we had one person say the food was bad and another person say the customer service is bad. We need to get to the bottom of this. Now, first impressions just based off the sign alone is they clearly do a lot more than just pizza. But I mean, hey, let's let's find out now with the food paid for we need to see if diamond pizza is truly worth one star or will they be redeemed today? Now I can see what they meant by more because look at how many things are on this menu. How are you gonna be good at this many things? Now first impressions of diamond pizza is I gotta say it was kind of run down, I can't lie. The atmosphere was kind of depressing. Nobody was in there. We had some old pizza sitting there that looked like it's been sitting there for days. And just after waiting 15 minutes, my food was ready. So let's start this review. This is the only place that we're going to where we can't actually dine in. So for now, we will be dining in uh, the car, but the reviews stay the same. First, I guess what we'll do is we'll grade the place based on cleanliness. What did you think of the place? What, how do you think of it? Was it clean? For cleanliness, I would give it a two out of 10. It's a pizza joint. So like, you know, you go to like a New York style pizza joint. You got a couple little rats running around. Does, New York. Doesn't mean the pizza's shit. I feel like of all places to be, you know, ass, a pizza place makes sense. It looked like those pizzas were sitting in there for a long time. But without further ado, let's just get straight to it. All right, so first impressions of the pizza doesn't look bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a very, listen, man, I know Keith Lee. <laughs> like, I'm not as critical. I honestly think it looks pretty good. It's a little cold. Good, Ben. It looks like a good New York style pizza. Okay, I see the problem here. Appearance of the pizza, I'm gonna give it three and a half Bilal's out of five. Now the pizza itself, let's rate the taste. It tastes like it's been here for a couple days. Let's just say that. The cheese feels like it's been fermenting. It's not really doughy, it's not fresh. It's definitely not fresh. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say. If you've ever had pizza at 7-Eleven, I hope you haven't, but if, if you have, it tastes like a 7-Eleven pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it because I love pizza and I'm hungry, but looks like it's been sitting there for a little bit, maybe a little fermented. The taste, I would just rate it like maybe a two out of five. Damn, as she eats it. Next up is the hamburger. How can you ruin a hamburger, right? It smells decent. Okay, when I asked for the burger, he's like, do you want the homemade one or you want the regular one? And I was like, yo, what does that mean? Does, would they not all be homemade? Honestly, once again, you got a little bit of toast there. See that? Mm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just giving me like the bare minimum. It's not, it's not trying to be special. It's not trying to be shit. It's just trying to be the regular. Look at this patty. The patty is like still frozen. Look at this. So for one, obviously the patty is frozen. I assumed he meant that when he said the regular burger. You would think that you would cook it at least. Yeah, it just tastes frozen. Soggy. Appearance, not bad. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This isn't good. It's not horrible either. I would easily go to McDonald's any day instead of this. It's just like Kraft Singles on a frozen bun. I think this would be worse than the pizza, for sure. Scratch the regular burger and make the homemade burger the regular burger. I'm gonna give it three out of five Bilal's. I don't know about you, but it kind of smells like throw up in the car. Oh my God. They included some garlic bread, of course. Here's the garlic bread. It looks store-bought. Look at that. Zoom in on that. I'm gonna be real, not bad. It's not great though. Something tells me it's not gonna be as bad as the spaghetti. Okay, let's just dig in. I'm shaking. The sauce is very bland. Bland, dry. Dry. Bland. Dry. Yeah, dry. Dry? Yeah, bland as anything. You're just bland. How's our signature dish? Bland as fuck. Let's try these. 
the meatballs. Couldn't even give me full meatballs. He got to he had to slice that shit. It looks like dog food. Let's get in here. <sighs> okay, so the spaghetti was the worst. It just tastes frozen and it doesn't smell appealing. It doesn't look appealing. I'm gonna give this one two out of five Bilal's. Yeah. Overall, Diamond's Pizza and Grill was not good. I'm gonna give the overall appearance of the uh, establishment two out of five Bilal's. You get two Bilal's because the pizza looked good and your place is about pizza. Uh, service of the place, I'm gonna give it a, uh, I would say like three and a half Bilal's out of five. Now as for taste. I'm gonna give Diamond Pizza and Grill two out of five Bilal's. Back to you. Thanks, Bilal. So did they deserve the one star rating? Let's be honest, it definitely was not five star. What I will say, their pizza was mid. So maybe if they just stuck to pizza, keep it as Diamond Pizza, not Diamond Spaghetti, not Diamond Burgers, then maybe we can turn that one star to a high two, maybe. Next on our list is Affy's Grill. Let's take a look at some of the reviews they got. Absolutely miserable place with horrible service. The rest of our food took over 90 minutes to arrive and the chicken was raw. <sighs> One star. Chicken was dry, waitress forgot our food twice. I would not recommend this place. One star. I am disgusted and appalled by this restaurant. There was a bug in my food and the manager accused me of lying and saying it's black pepper. I'm pretty sure I can differentiate between a black pepper and a bug. Last time I checked, black pepper doesn't have arms and legs and moves. It's a fair enough statement. Between raw chicken and a bug in my food, those are two of like one of my biggest fears while eating. So I really hope that does not happen. Oh wow, it is, wow. Now first impressions on this place, it was actually kind of nice, I can't lie. You know, you had your nice little chandeliers, you had a nice little bit of ambient music, but is their customer service and their food good? Or even after such a beautiful place, will it be ruined by trash food? Let's find out. Now the first thing that I noticed is once we were seated, it took a solid 15 minutes to be even asked if we want a drink. I would understand if no one came to talk to us for 15 minutes if the place was packed, but no one was there. So so why it takes 15 minutes to even ask if we want water is crazy. But just a little after that, he finally came. After about 40 minutes, our food finally arrived. Don't get me wrong, 40 minutes is not bad. But once again, take in, we're the only people who have ordered food. So far, everything's been good. I actually have no complaints so far, except for the fact that it took a century to get this. Do you have Coke Zero? Did you guys have the Coke? Coke or Diet Coke? Diet Coke, yeah, yeah. I still haven't got my Coke. And just the Coke. Yeah. The cleanliness of the place, definitely like five Bilal's out of five, I'd say. Appearance, also very good. This doesn't look the best. This looks like frozen. Fries? I mean, the fries are fries. Mashed potatoes are a little uh, stiff. Not horrible, need some salt. Now, let's check the chicken. A lot of people said the chicken was raw. Let's hope not. Oh wow, it is, wow. Is that pink? Is that pink, guys? Let me know in the comments. So the chicken's pink a little bit. No cap, not good. Mashed potatoes fries are good. Mashed potatoes kind of taste like frozen. Same with the fries though. The chicken is pink, guys. I cannot make that up as I continue to eat it. Side of veggies? <laughs> the veggies are definitely frozen, but... I feel like as soon as I put the chef's hat on, the guy started calling people, and now he looks like he's tweaking. I almost feel like I have to eat it to be like polite. Next is the beef ribs. I'm gonna be so fucking for real. The ribs are pretty good. I would just not get the veggies, but the ribs, pretty good. It doesn't taste like they made them. I wouldn't go out of my way to get them. I was disappointed in the chicken, I can't lie, but the ribs are good. I would rate the ribs like three Bilal's out of five. The reason why it's not a four or a five, it tastes like it's been like, like when I've made ribs in the past and I put it in the fridge and shit, and then I eat it like maybe three days later. 
That's kind of what it's like. But the, the meat is very tender. The back doesn't look appealing, but it's not about what's in the back. Just look at the front. Okay, Afi's Bar and Grill. Let's get to it. Let's start with service. It's just one guy. I don't know where the chef is. I would say that one guy is not enough, but the, we're also the only people here. So <laughs> I think one person's enough. He's not really checking on us, but he's not rude either. So I'm gonna say three out of five Bilal's for service. Next is appearance and cleanliness. Honestly, really good. I'm gonna give it five out of five Bilal's. The place looks cool as fuck. I feel like this is the type of place you need like shisha. Clean as well. There's not dirt. Someone said that there was a bug. I don't know if I believe that. Now on to taste. The ribs, I would give, like I said, three out of five Bilal's. The chicken, the chicken was raw. Was it super raw? No, just a little, just a little hint. The sides were basic, all frozen, of course. And you know me, that's something that me and my daddy, uh, Gordon Ramsay, have in common. We hate frozen. Don't get the chicken. Chicken's not good. I don't know why I did. Please subscribe. I think they're being a little bit too harsh. I don't think this is a one star restaurant. Yeah, honestly, I gotta say, I don't think it was one star. Ribs were bussin'. Chicken, a little undercooked, but we've all been there. I gotta say, the customer service could be improved. But this next place is definitely not better. So next on the list is Wing Machine. And I think this one might be the worst. I found a dead roach in my food. Very disturbing, disgusting, dead insect. In food made me sick. One star. Ordered a double bacon burger today. Burger was freezer burned, couldn't eat it. Needless to say, will not order from this place again. One star. Not fit for dog food. And his profile picture is a dog. I was shocked at how bad these wings were. 90% of the wing was hard as bone. Oh and cold. He just had to slide that one in. One star. The staff are hit and miss. One or two of the guys are nice. The rest seem to absolutely hate it there. Something is wrong with the food in this place. You're also surrounded by mirrors inside and I often find myself looking into them and asking myself, what the fuck I'm doing eating there again. So this guy's having an existential crisis by eating Wing Machine's food. Let's please find out if it's really that bad. Now, first impressions of Wing Machine is kind of run down, but that doesn't mean that the food's bad. And I hope the food is good because little does he know, he is serving one of the best chefs in Toronto. Now, when I was given the chance, I had to take a look at the bathroom to really understand and get a full inspection of this place. Bathroom was not the best. I gotta say. Now, after returning from the bathroom, my food was finally ready. So I got started with my review. Delicious appearance, good. Let's check out this flop, not bad. Appearance, I'm gonna give it three out of five Bilal's. Taste, better than the last place. Better than Diamond Pizza. They got it. Taste, I'm gonna say three and a half, honestly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Are you making beef? Yeah, I do uh, food reviews. Do you know Chef Ramsey? I heard. I was uh, his apprentice. <laughs> I would say um, pizza, three and a half Bilal's. Overall presentation's good. Let's move on to uh, the burger of the wings. Let's start with the wings. This was the half pound. We uh, got five wings here. This was the mild sauce. I'm terrified. This is where things just got really awkward because the guy who cooked the food literally walked over and he stood and stared at me. Do you know how awkward it is to try to do a review on somebody's food while the guy's sitting there like this? This is the mild sauce. Presentation, good. It's a good thick wing, hot, nice. It might be too hot actually. Let's uh, take a bite in here. Classic wing. I'm gonna give the presentation of this four out of five Bilal's. Not bad. This is where things get a little bit intense. So here's the burger. It's a little soggy. Uh, appearance, not the best. I'm gonna say that this is um, two out of five Bilal's. The bun is a little bit stale. Uh, not my favorite, but the condiments and the sauces on it are good. I will say. The wings were definitely the best. Overall, I would say not bad. The burger's bad though. Okay, so that was probably the most awkward moment I've had ever filming. Do you know what it's like to try to critique a man's food honestly while he's literally standing behind the camera watching you? Like that was, that was really tough. So now it's time to give my honest review. First off, 
no roaches. As far as appearance of the place, it was pretty run down. I can't complain about the service. The guy was nice. I'm gonna give the service five out of five Bilal. Long story short, the pizza was not bad. I would say the pizza was three out of five Bilal's. The wings were probably the best, but I will say with these wings, they were frozen for sure. A little bit soggy, you could say. Me personally, I like a crispy wing. Now this is where I can't lie to you guys. The burger was ass. Bread was stale, but the worst part, the meat was like frozen again, but it wasn't like grilled. It was almost like boiled. Like the patty was boiled. That's the best way to describe it. It wasn't grilled. So what was it? But I'm gonna give the burger a two out of five Bilal's. Also the cleanliness of the place was not the best, but the people were nice. So I will say that. And there you have it, the worst rated restaurants in my city. Now, if you guys want me to come to your city and check out some of your guys' shit food, <laughs> then drop a comment down below. Another thing to note is you probably should not go to a bunch of one-star rated restaurants all in the same day. Yeah.